Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to review flag 36 uh, 8.8 centimeter uh, shell. This is was artillery, not uh, usual stuff we review. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, but before we begin, like usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have not, if you do, thank you very much. And don't forget to turn on the notification, notification bell. That's really helps a lot. And then if you interested, please consider becoming a member. And in the tier one member, you will get a priority reply to comment and badges. Tier two, you will get a member only live chat. So you can comment on the uh, you can uh, comment on live chat of a video premiere or live uh, on the channel and connecting on social media. Uh, I will follow you on Twitter. So tier three, you will get a shout out. So I will mention your channel or your social media. I think channel only. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna mention your YouTube channel. In the beginning or end of the video you can decide on that and then gameplay with me so if you're interested to play game with me you can uh, i'm gonna add you to my steam friend okay so that's it uh, let's continue with the video okay so i'm sorry uh, so this is flag 36 let's fire it so you pull this lever here, this lever connected through this, uh, so this firing lever here, like this part connected to this. So the developer did not even name every part here. So I'm gonna use my own uh, word for it. So this firing lever, you pull, you pull the firing lever here and that firing lever will Rotate this sear operating lever. The sear operating lever connected to the sear. The sear is holding this uh, firing pin, a very big firing pin. Okay, so when you pull the lever, the the sear operating lever will rotate, pull down the sear, and the firing pin will hit the primer. Round is firing. Now you have recoil. Uh, you see I'm sorry okay from this side let's watch it from this side okay, so when you fire so this bridge operating crank will hit this uh, bridge operating cam here to open the bridge block you see that so this bridge actual thing lever will will pull this bridge block to the right okay so right there this bridge operating crank will hit this bridge operating crime uh, cam and then it will push the bridge block into the right okay so this connection was right here so if you watch from this position right here okay so this part here this this part here with my pointer i'm pointing at it this part is connected to the bridge block so it will uh, like pull pull this bridge block into the into the uh, into the right to open the bridge block and allow the shell to to be kicked out to be kicked out by this extractor top and extractor bottom. Okay, so the extractor was. 
was following this bridge block so you you can see here so the bridge operating cam hitting the bridge operating crank right there and then the bridge block is going to hit this extractor right here it's going to hit that and it will give right here okay the bridge block will hit this extracting top and bottom extractor top and bottom and it will have enough energy to like throw out the shell and uh, not the shell the case out of the barrel right there you can see so you see there the animation is a little bit uh, glitchy okay but that's how it extract the shell uh, the, the casing out of the barrel using this bridge block and extractor top and bottom to throw it out okay so now like this so that's firing and ejection now we gonna do reloading okay so the nine by nine point nine centimeter uh, shell get in and then when it's get in it will hit this extractor top and bottom here so, right there and then uh, uh, what what the name is operator will close the bridge block they, they will hold this uh, handle here to move the bridge block into position right there so when the ejection it was automatic not uh, by a, a machine or electricity but automatic like from the recoil but when you put in new round to close the bridge block you you have to manually do it right there okay so the round in bridge lock uh, with this lever here okay closing ready to fire okay so once again see it once again round in and then closing the bridge block now ready to fire now firing i'm gonna fire okay so we pull the firing lever the primary is hit round go out Okay, so simple like that. It's basically a bolt action. Okay, the difference is this: this bolt action have automatic uh, shell ejection. Okay, so that's it. Uh, let's move on. Well, we cannot mention safety because this is not <laughs> this is not a rifle or a pistol. This is a artillery. So this is probably the fuse. Oh, yeah, this is the fuse setter. Setter. So for the anti-aircraft, the the round is uh, is controlled to be. To be exploding mid air to shut down a, a plane. Okay. So it's using this fuse setter. Okay. 
this is for the aiming i i think yeah this is for aiming part so move the elevation here go up you rotate this you using this crank okay okay that's too slow Okay, so once again, why I'm clicking that? Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so elevation. Oh my God, elevation down. Okay, so like that. Traverse left or right. For the drivers, you move this part here. So it's uh, this traversing axle, uh, you rotate it so it can engage the traver traversing ring. So it's for the drivers and the elevation. Okay. So yeah, I think that's it. There is no magazine. I think the magazine one is is buffers, right? Buffers uh, anti aircraft first um and not version anti aircraft uh, cannon. So this is a flag thirty six. So so yeah, nothing really. Nothing really advanced here. It's uh, created in 1928, if I'm not mistaken. Like almost 100 years uh, tools here. Okay, so I'm gonna put back the shell. Okay, so this is the shell. Now the shield window. You see? This the this right side is for the aiming, and this left side here for the fuse setting. So let's let's do a okay. Why? Okay. Why you need to reload it before transfer it? Okay. So this is in transport mode. Okay. So this is the transport mode. The leg was uh, fold together, like like left and right uh, uh, leg. Leg was put together right here. So this is the transport mode. So yeah, nothing really advanced here. So thank you for watching. If you if you're interested, like and subscribe and become a member. You can see the the perks on the screen, like I mentioned in the first video in the in the beginning of the video. So if you're interested, please consider like and subscribe, turn on the notification, become a member if you if you want, and then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.